Hello everyone, my name is Anita uh, Bahman. In the comments, uh, I got a comment requesting to go through the getting started tutorial uh, for the EGS NRC. Uh, so I'm going to try to demonstrate that now. This is the document uh, for getting started with the EGS NRC. They do have a, and I think this is the request, is to go through the, try to write a demo uh, code, uh, the one with my app. So let's go there. So if you scroll down, uh, we will see the instructions. Yes, here it is. So this is basically creating a new EGS++ application. And uh, I'm going to follow uh, the instructions as uh, shown in the document. So I'm going to open a terminal first and we will go to my uh, EGS home area and then I'm going to make a directory uh, my app and go into that directory and then I need to copy a document from tutorial uh, 7 so I'm going to just write exactly that same command that should be in the home, home area uh, if not, then it's going to be under the hen house, uh, the scripts, the uh, user codes. Uh, but I have it in my home area, so I'm going to copy it in, my, in this new directory. And I'm go going to copy also uh, this other file, tutorial 7, and make file. Okay. And then the next step, I think we have to uh, modify. Uh, so we need to open the make file. So I'm going to open it with uh, my editor. And we have to change uh, the user code. So let me put this so that the background uh, is visible to you. OK, I can search, by the way. So I'm going to find. So I need to go to the line where it starts with user code. So I have to change this line. This is on line 45. You're going to find it in line 45. And it's going to be my app. And then uh, we, we should look for another line here. It's the XPP user macros. So EGS pp user macros it's in uh, on line uh, 52 we also need to change that to my app macro anything else needs to be changed create a new okay so we're done we can save this file the next step is we need to create a file called my app dot macros uh, but that uh, file is going to be empty it's not really required uh, for this uh, uh, demo app. So I'm going to use the command touch as a Linux and then my app dot macro macros. Okay, so if I list what's in the directory, I will find we have <coughs> uh, these two files that we, we copied from tutor uh, 7. Uh, make file was modified and then we have a my app uh, dot macros uh, file and it's empty nothing is there so finally we need to create a new file uh, emacs my app dot cpp <coughs> and we need to put these two lines code finally create and save the following source code in it so I'm just copying and uh, we're gonna paste it okay okay so we're done now we need to compile it we'll issue the command make and the code is being compiled now
okay and it's done the next step is we need to create an input file uh, so we're gonna make an input file called slab dot pgs input the file name is here and i'm just going to copy uh, uh, and paste the following content as uh, they suggested so i'm going to copy i'm going to copy to here paste okay then go to the next page this and, uh, and then it's the last piece okay and now we're going to save the file save uh, and now we can execute so remember uh, this is the application that we have compiled is called my app and for that application we need an input file uh, slab EGS input and uh, when we type my app like this minus i and uh, so the first i mean this is how how commands or how uh, we run uh, simulations with the uh, EGS the first and the first entry is the uh, code name which is called my app and then minus i uh, what follows that is the input file name. So we have slab dot EGS input. Okay. And you can see the application ran. And uh, uh, so we did not have any errors or problems. So that means the input file is uh, fine. So let's see if we can actually uh, EGS view and uh, see what's the output slab dot pgs input slab p tracks okay and there is the output okay so we can probably change a bit the camera So let's try now to uh, see the outcome, the output. Uh, I think it plots uh, the tracks of particles interacting with this uh, slab. Uh, so we we'll just type this command, which is input, and then we have the slab of p tracks. So this is uh, view. Okay of uh, uh, tracks of, of I think probably uh, I think there is an electron beam hitting on this slab and then you get ramaged around photons so uh, it's like uh, the photon tracks uh, we can actually so this is the, the photons these are the photons uh, and we do have electrons so let's look at electron track track for electrons and then positrons probably just a few positrons so this is the, the 
the demo uh, my app application x plus plus application in the getting starting uh, document i hope this was uh, uh, useful uh, to you and uh, uh, see you in another uh, demonstration